In iOS 14, SwiftUI has got a new at app storage property wrapper for reading and writing values with user defaults. Let's try it out here. I'm going to say at app storage, uh, then give it a key name. I'll do username. Var username is anonymous. Then our body, I'll make a vstack with text saying welcome username. And below that, we'll have button saying login. And when that's pressed, we'll do self, or just username, sorry, equals at two straws, like that. Rewrite it to be two straws when it's pressed. And when that code's run, it will show anonymous by default. And when login's pressed, it'll become two straws. Now what's happening behind the scenes here is we're changing the property from anonymous to two straws. Of course we are, that's what the code's doing but we're using at app storage, which means when I relaunch the app, it will show two straws, hopefully. <laughs> Let's find out. Boom, two straws. So it has correctly saved the values of user defaults and read it back in again. And the best bit is, this will also work if any other part of your code also writes to user defaults. So you had somewhere else, anywhere else in your app, user defaults, uh, dot standard dot set uh, at two straws for key username that would still be detected by at or app storage and would reinvoke the body property to show our new user username. Now what you can do if you want to is add a second parameter to the app, app storage uh, property wrapper. You can say the store where to read values from. By default, it is user defaults.standard, but you could also say, I want a uh, user defaults uh, suite name, group.com.hackingwithswift.example, whatever you want to, have a custom user default suite name to read and write from. 